Okay, let's take a nap right now. I've recorded a million clips today, but honestly, this might be the winner. Because this is truly, like, what I do. I lay down and I think about what the hell I'm doing or what I'm not doing. Okay, I'm gonna go do cardio. I'm gonna do... Incline walk for, like, 25, 30 minutes. Come right back, take a shower, and my workout is done. That's gonna be my workout today. It's just cardio because my legs are pretty sore from that workout. So if you did it, let me know. If you love it, let me know. Okay, bye. I wouldn't normally wear this, but I just had it on. So that's what we're wearing. sweaty I feel so good after doing that um we're gonna stick on schedule right needy we're gonna stick on schedule I'm gonna take a shower so I can just like slowly get ready for work that's at Ugh. three o'clock And then I'll worry about cleaning everything up after because I honestly have a pretty chill work day. I work two to three and then I work five to five thirty just for a meeting really quick. And then I'll spend the rest of the evening here so I can clean at peace and just like gather my thoughts of what I want in this video because I feel like I was trying to throw in like a grocery haul and my wedding update with the bridal shower, um, just a lot. And I just need to get a little bit more organized. Um, but I'm just excited. I just wanna share everything and just kind of track everything. But I wanna also make this, you know, like have parts to a series and not just kind of dump everything all at once, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, let me get, let me go take a shower. <sighs> I'm gonna finish off this video with a Q&A. I asked over on my Instagram if you guys had any questions, lifestyle, personal, wedding stuff. Aside from exercise, what do you do to keep grounded when having a bad day? Um, love this question because I feel like if that's kind of been these past two days, I don't know if it's the weather being gloomy or whatever, but I felt like not a rough day, but I'm just like, all over the place or I'm not kind of really following my structure as much um, a little unmotivated so some things I do is just literally stop and reflect of like okay what am I doing right now or what am I not doing like what do I need to do to bring myself closer to what I'm trying to accomplish or what goal I'm trying to reach for that day whether it's a better mindset um, a workout completed or what have you, you know, maybe tasks that I need to get through through the day. Um, so honestly, just stopping and reflecting on what I'm doing or not doing. And I would say um, I have recently got into meditation. And I've really enjoyed that. So I've been doing it like once a week. Um, more so for like more energy throughout my day. Um, so I'm just more productive. I am like super guilty of like procrastinating everything, especially this video. Like I was trying to film, you know, first thing in the morning and I just felt like, ugh, like let me put makeup on my face. Let me do something a little bit different. Um, but I do want to be more efficient. So like having a routine and being productive, whether it's finding meditation that's going to help you get there, great, or making a to-do list. Um, but those are some things I would say that helped me get through a rough day. How did you start looking for and find your destination wedding venue? So Marco and I literally just started hopping on YouTube, uh, hopping on YouTube and Google like two years ago. Once we got engaged in 2018, I think we talked about like, okay, what kind of wedding do we want to have? Like here, destination, 
think about the size of your family and my family, so many people. So we knew we wanted to save money and do a destination wedding. So the first thing we did was, you know, just slowly start watching YouTube videos, just typing in like um, Cabo destination weddings. Um, and then that just, with that search, like I just found so many videos and went down like so many, like every night we would watch it just to like, you know, get inspired and kind of see what resorts a lot of people were filming at. And then we went on Google and just like typed in uh, all inclusive Cabo resorts. And then on most of the websites, there's like a wedding section, talk about like what venues that place has in particular. It speaks about some of their packages, but you do have to call like um, the number or email, whatever you find on their website to get more details, especially as far as like how much things are, it's not just gonna be laid out. Um, so that was honestly what we did is we decided that we wanted all inclusive because it's just like, it just made sense for us. Like we wanted our guests to go and not have to, um, you know, pay for everything like a la carte. So that was our first focus and then finding a venue that just like looked great to us. Like it's modern, it's updated. It looks beautiful because I didn't want to spend too much money on decor. Like I wanted the resort to speak for itself. Obviously you're on the water. So that was how we started and how we found ours was just literally reaching out to multiple venues and searching the internet. Destination wedding video, travel agency or onsite coordinator. I'm definitely going to have a video like just dedicated to wedding talk and I'll probably bring, bring Marco on. But I did not go with the travel agency. I I just honestly don't know too much about it. I do and I don't, but at the time I was just like, no, like my guests can just purchase their flights and, you know, book their reservations through the website that I created with the link that gets them to the discount for our resort. Um, so I do have an on-site coordinator that is helping me through everything and she's awesome. Do you track macros? I don't. So I am tracking my food, but I'm not necessarily following something. I'm just trying to make sure that I am meeting my basal metabolic rate, which if you saw my previous videos, I'm, I'm just honestly trying to meet a consistent set of calories. So I'm basing that off of my BMR, which is my basal metabolic rate, which is, so if you wake up and you just stay in bed all day, and do nothing, your body is burning so many calories. So obviously I'm a person that gets out of bed, I brush my teeth, brush my hair, I work out, I walk around all day, and I'm burning cal I'm using calories and energy throughout my day. So I need to be eating more than just that basal metabolic rate, right? Because I'm getting out of bed. And right now, honestly, it's a little bit hard for me to get there which is not uncommon for most females. We tend to under eat. It's really eye opening for me to actually start tracking my food and I don't wanna like get too hung up on like, oh my God, I have to eat so much food, but more so just like listening to my body and slowly like adding more food little by little. And do you have a goal weight or just getting more fit? Just getting more fit. I honestly wouldn't care if I weighed the same, but I do want to drop my body fat percentage by two to three percent and add inches to my glutes and lose inches from my waist. So the weight's probably gonna stay the same if I'm building muscle and losing fat. So I'm not too hung up on that. When is your wedding? Any recommendations? My wedding is the first week of December and I would definitely recommend looking at La Hacienda Encantada. I'll leave some information in the description box, but that is my venue and I love it. There's so many like different areas to get married. If you want like a sand wedding or like outdoor, a terrace, uh, a bonfire thing, you have to look at it so it can make sense. But I'm really happy with where we're doing it. I'm just so excited. How is wedding planning? So wedding planning is super chill. Honestly, because it's destination, it's just a lot of emails back and forth. We were paired up with vendors that our resort allowed us to work with. 
which was helpful and I don't feel restricted because I honestly like wasn't going to do my homework and try to find like florals in Cabo. I like that they presented options like two to three people that they recommended that they've worked with before and we we then just kind of speak to each one and like find who works best for us and our budget like super plain jane i just want the basics right the food obviously comes with the resort the florals we already have committed to somebody you know just his boutonniere my bouquet centerpieces anything that's going to be at the altar the music comes with our package in the resort so our dj and then we are adding mariachi which they recommended someone and that was easy and what else photographer they were recommended like three people and we just scrolled through their instagram and kind of saw like what was our vibe so that way the pictures come out how we truly want them to so it was very helpful to have like a basic like some you know like the three to four pe three to four vendors and we just kind of pick and choose which one worked best for us i want to say the wedding planning is done the last little bits is just having our photographer giving our photographer who we want like family portraits with and let's see we need to send our dj like what song i'm walking down the aisle to what song marco's walking down the aisle to our entry song little things like that so marco and i have been dedicating like a sunday or like a late evening to just like let's give ourselves one hour to you know touch base with everybody that's been emailing us or things that we still like want to finalize any things that we need clarification on like we'll just spend an evening doing that you find your dress yes i did i found my dress in january so it's been eight months i'm nervous to try it on but it's going to be next week wednesday september 16th so next wednesday just cross your fingers that it fits me like a glove how many times a week do you work out i work out four times a week i'm aiming for two lower body days and like one upper body day and like one kind of just focus on like some sort of cardio but with weights like a hit training uh, where do you shop for clothes i don't shop anywhere great like the shirts from target i wear a lot of workout clothes because i'm a trainer like i shop at lululemon i shop my husband's closet i wear all of his clothes <laughs> amber Kami and fitch actually has been pretty good to me they actually have a lot of cute things like they're coming out with bodysuits and they have skirts and like just real cute trendy pieces right now how often do you train glutes i would say twice because i'm doing two lower body days and my glutes are my focus whether i'm doing like a hip thrust a deadlift a squat like everything's hitting my glutes and any kids in the future if so how many yes kids definitely um we've talked about having three and i feel like that's a great number not too big not too small um me and my brother are like a year apart and we're close so i think that'd be super cute to have like you know kids very close in age so you guys have like a team within your household um but that's all the questions we'll try to cut out all the ums in this i'm still learning and trying to get better with the camera so let me know what you think of these videos any suggestions that you guys have i'm happy to hear all of it and i'm also just trying to there's so much i want to get across and there's so many things that i want advice on if you're getting married or anything um leading up to wedding day for example i am I am going to get hair extensions and I was looking at Bellamy hair extensions. They're trying to make a list of like, cool, what things do we want to like still do or still need? So like he needs all his accessories, like his shoes, his belt. And then I realized like, holy shit, I probably need shoes too. Like there's just a lot of things that I'm like missing or not thinking about. So if anybody wants to help me out and send any recommendations, I would totally appreciate it. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.